Uh, Here we are at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Oh, there's Eno. Thank you. <laughs> we're not at Six Flags. We're in Hanchel's class. You <laughs> liar. <Same> okay. <laughs> okay. What what ride are you on, Brooklyn? What ride? Oh, what ride? Goliath. Okay. Okay, go. Chairs. And please calm down. Are you safe? And Blake Harris inside the car. Josh, get in your seat. Okay, here we go. That's Nargo. Are you good? Yeah. How do you plan on being a millionaire? Marry someone rich. Plain and simple. I'm gonna. Is this a trick question? It's a real question. It's a real question. You don't want to know my answer to that. Okay, Maddie. So, what does it take to become a millionaire? Whoa, Eno. All right, Maddie. We'll get you in a minute. Okay, Eno. I got you here. I'm. Trying. I'm gonna be a gymnast. You guys, a question. How will you guys become millionaires? Um. I'm gonna be an actress on Hollywood. <laughs> okay. What does it take? And how are you gonna become a millionaire? Okay, first you gotta drop off, drop out of college. Okay. Then you gotta start working out of your garage. And then, um, I don't know, your business is just supposed to take off from there. So, the first way, you marry an old person that is about to go to the other side and then <laughs> you wait till that person is gone and then you keep all the money and then you marry the person you love. I'm gonna come up with the cure for cancer and oh, everyone's no. just gonna pay me money. To become a millionaire, you have to be passionate. I'm gonna marry a rich man and I'm gonna be a gold digger. I don't know. Oh, that's it. I don't And you have to, you have to find something that you love to do and be the best at it. You can become famous. Probably make a song. Okay. Yeah, you're right. That's pretty much it. Make an award-winning song that's gonna go platinum. It's gonna be like ten award-winning songs. Um, another way to become a millionaire is think high and like dream high, but like don't be like so like oh I'm gonna do this and not do anything. Like actually do it. I'm gonna go to college. Well, I'm gonna go to college and then get a good job. <laughs> marry a millionaire. Okay. So, what's a millionaire that you'd want to marry? Jennifer Lawrence. Put yourself up for adoption and hope that you get adopted by a millionaire. You could probably be a millionaire by probably inventing probably a new phone. Uh, have good work ethic, have an open mind, and be creative. I'm going to become a millionaire is by going to college and I want to become a producer. So by the money I earn from producing music with other artists and stuff. Go to school, be smart, and get money. Um... I guess hope my hope my business takes off. Maybe go to Shark Tank. Go to college. Gotta follow your dreams and really, just, it's all about working hard. So, how do you plan on being a millionaire in your life, in your lifetime? Winning the lottery. That's how you're gonna do it. Yeah. Um, winning a lottery. The. Win the lottery. Win a lotto. You can be an inventor. Work at a bank. Be a manager or a CEO. You rob a bank. Not me. I don't want to become a millionaire. You don't want to become a millionaire. No. You rob a bank. Marry someone famous. Oh, that's a good strategy. What kind of famous person would you like to marry if you could pick it right now? I'm poor. You're rich. Let's get hitched. <laughs> no, I'd say Zac Efron. Marry someone famous. Go to Hollywood. Okay. Marry a director. Okay. Who would you want to marry that's famous if you, if you could? <laughs> like any age? Mm -hmm. Um, get a sugar daddy, Dave Franco, if you're seeing this. Working hard, not giving up. My way of becoming a millionaire is uh, becoming a pro professional baseball player. Marry the rich. Working in Starbucks, I'm going to take over, I'm going to be CEO of Starbucks. Um, and I'm going to be not only a millionaire, but a billionaire. Always remember your goal to be richer than everybody else. Yeah. Um, don't let people discourage you. You gotta know the right people to get into the good opportunities in life. By making a reality TV show with my family. Selling my body. <laughs> Whoa. I'm gonna be a rock star. 
I'm taking a hundred dollars straight to the casino. Um, to like not spend so much money on stuff that I don't need. To become a millionaire. To become a millionaire, I think I could do stocks. I could be like a wolf of Wall Street. Okay, guys, this is Mr. Henshaw, and I know you guys have enjoyed the video so far, but you asked the question, right? Why is Mr. Henshaw asking the question uh, about being a millionaire? Because I want you to think about this, what I'm gonna say. Albert Einstein, we all know who Albert Einstein, that great scientist, great thinking mind. He said, the eighth wonder of the world, and this is a secret, this is an important secret, but he said the eighth wonder of the world is compound interest. So today, we're gonna to talk about compound interest. Now what compound interest is, is basically, you take $100 and you put it in the bank, and let's say the bank gives you a return of, uh, let's say 10%. Well, after a year, it's worth $110. And you leave it in there. And then it gets interest on the 110%. And, it, and that interest builds and it compounds and goes forever. Okay, so the concept I want you to have is compound interest. So another thing I want to teach you is the rule of 72. And how the rule of 72 works is basically you take 72 and you divide it by an interest. So let's say 72 divided by 8. We get the calculator right here. We take 72, we divide it by 8, equals 9. Basically the rule of 72 means it'll take you nine years to double your money. So, if you start on year one, and you have year one, and you put $2,000 in there, if you wanna double that $2,000, it'll take you nine years to double it. Now you may think, who cares, Mr. Henshaw? Well, this is what's important. After watching your guys' um, answer the question, and all your different solutions, and some of them were actually pretty good, I want to give you an easy solution on how you can be a millionaire. Now wait a minute. You mean I'm going to give you free information? Yeah, I'm a teacher. I'm trying to educate you, okay? And the concept I'm trying to educate you about is compound interest. That means money you've earned that you haven't spent, that you saved, and you invest, hopefully in something that gives you a good return. I would say a nice return is anything above 8%, but you don't want something risky. I'm not giving you stock tips here. Just what a good stock. Go to your stockbroker and ask them. But with the rule of 72, at your young age, if you start investing right after high school and start working a job, college or no college, now college is important, I have a college degree, but you could be a millionaire if you save money and invest it. That's the key thing. Whether you have a college degree or you're Steve Jobs and work out of your garage and be a billionaire, this is how you can be a millionaire by having money work for you. And that's the point of this whole vlog today is I want to teach you some basic concept about compound interest and the rule of 72. Now if Albert Einstein said it was the eighth wonder of the world. You, you think it's probably pretty darn important. So think about this concept. If you took $2,000 when you were 19 years of age and for eight consecutive years to put $2,000 in the bank until you were, let's say, 26 years old, you would have $16,000, right? Let's think about this for a second. 19 years old, and you're putting 2K, and all the way down to 26 years old, right? This would give you $16,000 that you would invest. Now, with the power of compound interest, if you stopped investing at age 26, that was it, right? Potentially, at a decent rate of return, now obviously you have to have a good stock investor and a good portfolio, and that's something you have to talk to someone, an expert about. But if you've got 8% return on average for the next 30 years, you could have over a million dollars, maybe closer to two million dollars. Depends on the interest rate and the influx of the market. This is money you don't, you don't touch. Between 19 and 26, you save the money, and after 26, let's say you stopped. This money would earn comp compound interest. And basically with the rule of 72, this money, this, this money that you've invested, the $16,000, would double every, if it was 8% interest, every nine years. If you got more interest, then it's doubling sooner. If you got less interest, it doubles longer. So depending on how that investment goes. But this is the whole, this is how the secret of how you 
can be a millionaire. Hope you enjoyed the vlog today. I did. Okay, Ling, tell, tell us how to become a millionaire. Uh, so what you do is you go to the Chinese ambassador and you tell him, oh, no. And the secret is to uh, listen to the parent and when you get the good job, you save your money in the bank. It's very good. Yes. <laughs> Hey guys, Chris here, here with my new vlog. I'm gonna tell you how to become a millionaire. And there's seven easy steps. Uh, hello, I'm PJ. I will tell you how to be a millionaire. First step, buy a book. We print many hello. books. You can buy it very cheap. Buy it from us. We sell for only $2. $2. No, no $29.99. No, no, not that. $2.